Hey everyone, you see the title down below, it basically says Six Strikes Rule arrives this week. Yeah, uh, the link will be provided below from one of the areas I found, read this on, but basically what I read just now, it sounds, I, I don't know, you could probably give it a mixed reaction if you want, but it sounds like mainly what they're going to start doing because to me it sounds like you may not have nothing to worry about just yet. But it sounds like they're just going to send out warnings to those who, um, whose ISPs have been detected, of, been de whose ISPs have been detected of having some illegal peer-to-peer -peer downloading or uploading or whatever you want to call it, pirating, if you will. And to me, you have so many people out there that have done this. It's like. It's going to take a while for them to even just go through this week. And we're not, and we're talking Comcast, we're talking Time Warner, we're talking, you know, Cablevision, we're talking Verizon, AT&T. All these people are involved in it. Now, basically the uh, lady that's in charge, one, the, the lady that's in charge of this, basically says that we're not trying to hurt you at first. All we're going to do is say, hey, you know, we've detect, you know, it's been detected on your system, here's where you need to go to legally get the stuff. And they provide, and basic examples they provided to legally get the stuff would be iTunes, Netflix, Amazon, Spot, Spotify, you know, places like that. Walmart, if you will. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm cool with them giving you, showing you alternatives. That's fine. But here's the deal: how you can be? Here's my question. I know, in a sense, you may have some good intentions with this. But how are you going to be able to detect what was legally downloaded and what was illegally downloaded? How are you going to do that? It's not going to work. you got over a billion people, I mean way over a billion people in this country. you got Comcast, Time Warner's, Cablevisions, Verizon's, AT&T offices and everything around the world. Not just around the world, but around this all over this country. How are you going to be able to detect who's what, 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 what? You know, it doesn't make sense. Okay, I can understand, and as soon as you read what it says down below, when you click on the link, we can all understand that there are certain repercussions. I mean, Verizon, according to, according to uh, what it says, Verizon is basically saying, hey, by the fifth strike, if you do this for a fifth time, then we're going to slow your ass, we're going to slow your internet connections ass down to 256 kilobits. Basically, dial up speed. Well, TWC, Time Warner Cable, says, hey, you infringe for a fifth time or sixth time, guess what? Two weeks you're going to be without internet. I'm not lying, folks. I don't know what Comcast situation is. I don't know what AT&T's is or Cablevision's, but I can understand all that. But still, I don't see this working. I, I really don't. Because one... How are you going to be, like I said, how are you going to be able to detect what was legally downloaded and what was not legally downloaded? It's, it, you know, it boggles my mind how are you going to be able to do that. You're not. Now, I can understand when they say most consumers will never receive alerts. And that's fine. I get that. But throughout this whole week and the next few weeks, you plan to send these alerts out saying this, might have been, this has been detected or we heard, we, well, stuff like that. It's like... Look, there's a lot of people that have done this. There's a lot of people that have done this, but yet they still go out and they buy the stuff. So, how are you going to be able to detect what was legally downloaded and what wasn't? You know? I mean, I understand the MPAA and the RIAA, you know, and, mute, and, and television and all that. All, they all want people to legally do things. I get that. But, you know what the problem is, though, to me? It's not the, the problem is not the fact that I have a problem with this. Because, you know, my sister works, my older sister works for Comcast. And I'm pretty sure she's being briefed on what's going to happen. And I've got a feeling Comcast may go like, okay, we're going to slow you down for a couple of days, maybe two weeks, maybe a week, and, you know, you're going to have a slow connection speed of maybe 256 or 300 kilobits, and that's it. And then maybe they'll come out and say, okay, now you're back and restored, but please don't do this again. I get that. But you know what 
I think, honestly, I think Comcast, Time Warner, Verizon, Cablevision, all, AT&T, all these people, the only associating themselves with this to probably shut these people up. I'm not, it's just my opinion, but I think that's what they're doing. Because here's why. They know, the people at Comcast, Universal, whatever you want, Comcast Universal, whatever you want to call it. People at Comcast, people at Time Warner, Verizon, AT&T, and Cablevision, all know and realize that there's a billion customers around this country. Um, over a million to a billion customers around this country. And they cannot detect each and every one of them. It's going to take too long. It's going to take too long. And then, and then if you really want to know why I don't think this is going to work. You've got restaurants, you've got fast food places, you've got cafes that allow for free Wi-Fi. What are you going to do when people take the laptops into the thing, into a, into a McDonald's or Burger King or, or Blue's Cafe like here in Patterson or a Starbucks or wherever? What are you going to do when they take it in and they start eating start downloading, put a di they put a disk in. What are you going to do when they put, when they download, let's say something off a torrent, then they put a disk in, boom, and they take it, and then what are you going to do then? And then, then what? Are you going to shut, are you going to tell McDonald's? Are you going to tell, you know, Burger King? Are you going to tell Wendy's? You're going to tell Starbucks? You're going to tell Golden Corral? You're going to tell Denny's and all that? You're going to tell them, oh, by the way, uh, uh, we detected illegal downloading. Or your thing. And they're gonna be like, how? You know, it the thing to me is again, I understand what they're trying to do, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it off us and you're gonna be put what's gonna happen is we the home stuff, the personal home downloading, whatever you want to call it, that's gonna stop. No doubt. But it's gonna go from the homes and it's gonna be put onto the places that offer free Wi Fi. The hotels, the restaurants, all that, those that offer free Wi-Fi, that it's gonna fall upon them. Because people are gonna be forced, people that still like to do still like to download stuff off torrents and whatever, they're gonna be forced to go to these places, probably buy you something to probably buy something to drink or eat real quick while they do it, while they download whatever and go. And it's and it's gonna fall down, it's gonna fall upon them. And they're going to get back at these, and they're going to get, and, and what's going to happen is you're going to have all these places that offer that free Wi-Fi, and they're going to be like, you know what, because of you, we could probably be losing our internet connections because you guys wanted to do this crap. I mean, heck, I go to church, and I check in every time there. I use my iPod, I check in at church every time. And it's got free Wi-Fi, and it takes place in the senior center here in Patterson. And yet, you're telling me if a person took a laptop in there and said, okay, I'm going to go to a torrent site, ooh, I'm going to download this, that you're going to probably take down theirs? <laughs> you know, again, like I said, I understand where they're coming from with this, but it, I just don't think it's going to work. They said basically that it sounds basically it's a voluntary thing that they're going to try, and that if it doesn't work, I've got a feeling it's not going to work, and they're going to have to go back to square one. They're going to have to be like, okay, this didn't work. What are we going to do? Because there's going to be it's, it, because it's not just going to be this. You're going to have a lot of people finding ways around this whole situation. That's right. You're going to have people finding a lot of ways around. They're going to find lots of ways of getting around this thing. They are. They're going to find lots of ways of saying, you know what? We want this. We want that. You know, but what? People are going to find ways around this. And it's not just going to. And you add that, and you add to that the fact that you're going to have all those places that I mentioned that offer free Wi Fi. They're going to come back at, these, at this thing and say, hey, because of you, we're losing everything. That's basically good, what it's going to be. They're going to be like, because of you guys and your stupid ruling, we're losing our business. We're, lose, we're going to lose our business.
lose our internet, and we're going to lose our customers because of this shit. And again, I understand completely what they're doing. I can understand and respect the fact that you want people to go out and buy the stuff. I get that. I get the fact that you want people to go out and buy movies like this that are either double features or triple features or quadruple features. I get that. I get you want people to do that. I get the fact that you want them to go out and buy the CDs. I mean, I get all that, and everybody else does. But the thing is, what you're doing is going to back. But the thing is, what they're doing with the six strikes rule is going to backfire in their face. And they know. And I'm pretty sure there are some that didn't agree to this, that know this, but they're going along with it because they want to prove a point. And that point is it's going to blow up in your face. In their face. And they know it. I mean, if it succeeds, hey, it succeeds. It does its job, fine. But it's going to blow up in their face. And said, I feel it. The people that have talked about this, reported about this, at Divinot and other places, they know it's going to blow up in their face. I mean, I had to basically switch. I spent this past weekend switching on and off, on and off, on and off, switching my router's security from un, from un, from free Wi-Fi to let me give you the key. Let me give you the security key or password Wi-Fi. And now it's back to free Wi-Fi because of the fact that I don't want to constantly give the password to my nephew or anybody else that wants it, and it doesn't work. It's like I say, this is a free country. You should be able to be able to have free Wi-Fi. And I understand you could have the option of locking it up. I do. But the thing is, that's what this Six Strikes thing is doing, and that's what it's going to do to places like McDonald's and Burger King and Starbucks that offer free Wi-Fi. It's going to cause them to lock up their Wi-Fi and it's going to cause the consumers, the customers, that come in there and want to use the Wi-Fi to be like, why can't I use it? And they're not going to like it. So, my honest opinion, I re in my honest opinion, I respect what they're doing, and I understand why they're doing it, but in my honest opinion, I don't think it's going to work, and I feel it's going to blow up in the face. So let me know what you guys think about it. Comment down below, video response if you like. OTRS, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. MG Knight, Zero Nazarak, let me know what you guys think. Video response, please. And I'll talk to you all later.